today we'll be having some fun with the new Taurus Deputy in 45 Colt. I'm Dustin and you're watching Guns of the West. Well, here's a close-up look at the Taurus Deputy in 45 Colt. If you didn't see my unboxing video, I'd recommend going back to that. I did a very good close-up look at it there. But this is a great feeling gun. I haven't shot it yet, but the finish is great. Everything feels solid. The grips fit nicely, even though they are just plastic grips. Nice little Taurus logo. I've been a fan of Taurus revolvers for a long time, but I've never had one of their single actions. I've just had a few of their double actions, like that tracker I did a video on not too terribly long ago. And to my understanding, this Deputy is a new one, comes in 45 Colt or 357 Magnum. And of course, if you get a 357 Magnum, you can also shoot 38 Special in it. And to my knowledge, there are only two barrel lengths, that, at least that I've seen. This is the five and a half inch, and there is also the four and three quarter inch, which is the same length as the ejector housing. Well, let's go ahead and load this and get it going. And as I said in the unboxing video, this one has a transfer bar safety, so there's no need to only load five. The ammunition I'm using is just this HSM cowboy action stuff. So let's go ahead and load all six chambers with those. This cowboy action stuff interesting. Notice the small pistol primers in there. All right, well, we've got all six. Go ahead and lower it down. Now let's have some fun. Target's swinging pretty bad. All right, well, let's go have a look. Well, I was aiming at the middle of the steel plate, and for the most part, it's putting them right in there. There are more than six shots there. I did take a few little practice shots to figure out where to hold in case the sights were off, like this one and this one. However, there's no excuse for that one. That was during the six that you just watched. I just pulled that one over to the left a little bit. Must have jerked a little bit, but for the most part though, again, it's putting them about right where I want them to be. But why don't we have a little bit of slow motion fun with it? Now let's take a look at the unloading procedure. Pull the hammer to half cocked, free the cylinder just like when loading it. And then it's got the ejector on it just like the Colt single action army. And they should just pop right out. Well, as I stuck one. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, one sticks. And there they are. I have to say, I really like the similarities between this and the Colt Single Action Army. Obviously the transfer bar system is not one, but listen to this, it's a four click hammer. So I like that. I like that it's the half cock that frees the cylinder. It will not do that just with the loading gate. So other than that transfer bar safety, this is a nice, pretty nice copy of a Colt Single Action Army and definitely a lot of fun. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this look today at the Taurus Deputy in 45 Colt. And I want to say a big thank you to Taurus for sending this out to me so that I can share it in video with all of you. Please don't forget to click that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos. Also, if you look in the description, you'll see where to find me on social media as well as where to find all the great Guns of the West products. Thank you so much for watching.